going to use this opportunity to first give you a bit of a tropical weather update because there are other things out there in addition to Dorian, the Category 2 hurricane that is starting to depart the uh, Florida coastal waters and enter the Georgia coastal waters uh, sliding on towards the north. Uh, so here's what's happening out in the uh, middle of the tropical Atlantic, and uh, you'll see a, a few systems out there. This one has a chance, medium chance of uh, developing over the next couple of days. This system out there, uh, as you can see, I, I call it several hundred miles to the north of the Caribbean. This would be heading uh, off to the northeast, no concern. This is just a tropical wave. And then this, well, that looks robust. What is that? Well, that's Gabrielle. Gabrielle is a tropical storm, and it is heading this way. It is a fish storm, as we commonly call it, so no concerns about that. There's Dorian, and then this is Fernan. And Fernan today made landfall in Mexico as a tropical storm. Uh, telling you all these names because, you know, I don't want you to lose track. <laughs> We're already up to G, and the next name would be the H name, which right now I have no clue what it is just because I forget after all these years about all the hurricane names. But we'll look that up when the time comes. For the time being, there is the track that Fernan took into Mexico. Big rain producer, not much of anything else. But rain-wise, certainly heavy precipitation was expected in South Texas, South Texas and into Old Mexico uh, for today.